the motion be agreed to. And I call the member for Dawson. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, uh, congratulations to the member for Herbert for moving this uh, very important motion, uh, recognising the role that uh, particularly Australian small business has to play in our defence industry, our growing defence industry, because of the significant investment uh, from the Morrison Liberal National Government. And I recently had the opportunity to witness firsthand the contribution that small and medium-sized businesses can make in uh, servicing our Defence Force in quite a number of ways during a visit to three companies in Townsville uh, in the northern end of my electorate, which is also home to the country's largest defence base uh, and uh, a city that I share representation with, with the member for Herbert. Um, now, in supporting the member for Herbert's motion, uh, uh, you know, he's highlighted the importance of not only supporting those businesses, but seeking more opportunities for uh, small and medium-sized businesses to participate in all aspects of defence procurement and servicing. Defence is a multi-billion dollar industry. Uh, in the north, it certainly is. There's about 7,000 personnel in the city. About, uh, uh, it's got the maintenance and supply of defence services providing about 11 per cent, or just under $13 billion of the gross regional product. It shows you the contribution uh, that uh, the Morrison Liberal National Government, through our defence industry policy, is providing to Townsville and the wider North Queensland region. And in mid-July, I joined the Minister for Defence Industry and the Member for Herbert to various visits. Uh, uh, I went to uh, Campbell's Kitchen Cabinets, uh, run by Dennis O'Brien and his, his wife Michelle. And Dennis took us around to. Uh, have a look at, uh, at his business there. I think the minister was very impressed by uh, one of the kitchen cabinets that he had on display there, which were very professional. But the thing is that business, the small business, got a number of contracts uh, building cabinets uh, with the defence industry to house specific equipment in, including uh, equipment that CAE Australia is, uh, is running. And that is really, really specialised training systems for air crew, uh, for land personnel and maintenance crews uh, in the defence sector. Now, we went along to CAE Australia and had a look at their, uh, the work that they are doing. It is just phenomenal, state of the art. You sit in one of their training simulators for their flight crews, you actually get a bit of motion sickness thinking that you're up in the air actually flying over Afghanistan. It is that realistic. And this is stuff that's being done in our regions for the defence force by the private sector. And then. Uh, we were at the uh, Cubic Defence uh, in Townsville there. Uh, they are also providing uh, training services to the ADF. And uh, we met up with rep representatives from uh, uh, Aon Nemesis Defence Solutions, Ryan Mattal and Tarles, or Thales. Um, and this was important, that uh, round table we had there. And uh, I want to acknowledge again the member for Herbert for his contribution, uh, his first-hand experience as a veteran, but he brought along other veterans there. Uh, that got to have their input as well uh, into the whole concept of veterans' employments in the defence sector and the supporting industries in the defence sector. Because businesses and towns were at the forefront, uh, at the forefront of our push, our $200 billion investment in our defence capabilities. And we want to see uh, more veterans involved in the employment in those industries as a result of that major investment. And this has all come about through our 2016 Defence White Paper. We're investing in new naval vessels, cutting edge cyber technology, superior aircraft, and at the same time maximising the involvement of defence industry businesses and creating extra jobs. It stands in stark contrast to uh, the previous governments um, where uh, under Labor, they gutted defence spending by about $18 billion. Investment fell to 1.56 per cent of GDP, the lowest level since 1938. Uh, 119 projects in the Defence Force were delayed, 43 reduced and eight projects cancelled. So that's the record on the other side of the House. Our record is in investment, building our defence capabilities, in helping local businesses uh, get a slice of that defence pie and also ensuring veterans are part of that as well. We're doing that with so many different things. Can I mention the Land 400 deal with Ryan Mattal to supply combat reconnaissance vehicles for the ADF? That $5 billion project is seeing almost $2 billion spent in Queensland and is going to be wins for Townsville businesses, for Mackay businesses, for businesses all over the state uh, with that project. It's created, we're going to create about 330, 330 jobs 
over the life of that project. So there is a lot happening in this space. It is principally due to our firm and solid. Thank the member for doing.